Welcome to another edition of Penny Stock Analysis, brought to you by PennyStockAnalysis.com. The next tool that you can add to your uh, technical analysis and knowledge is learning about the price rate of change. Now I'm not going to take you through the normal technical way or long mathematical way of figuring out the rate of change. What's important for this session is to understand that as the name suggests, the rate of change is a tool that's used to measure how fast the current price is changing in relation to a past price. And that can be a target or time period of your choosing. It could be 10 days, 14 days, 26 weeks, it's up to you. Additionally, please notice that we call this the price rate of change and as such it's a price momentum indicator. There are other rates of change such as a volume rate of change. Today we're focusing on the price rate of change. And with that, remember this can be used to measure a long-term or short-term uh, difference in price. So of course the shorter term will appear more uh, jagged and sensitive to change. A longer term will provide a more smoothed out a line that will make it a tad easier to notice a long-term trend. Moving along, we have some more uh, visual points to take care of. Um, the first one is that the rate of change is a lower level indicator. In other words, it's not plotted against the price chart, which would be called an upper level uh, indicator. Uh, the other difference to uh, define is that you're looking for divergence when you're looking at the rate of change. The price of the stock may, going, may be going up, but the rate of change of the stock price may be going down, or vice versa. And the third and probably one of the most important uh, aspects to understand about the uh, tool, uh, the rate of change, is that this provides insights to the strength of a price movement and the general demeanor of the stock. If the stock is very jagged, the rate of change will be spiking upwards and downwards, whereas if the stock uh, generally has a smooth uh, increase or decrease, the rate of change uh, will not have um, such uh, extreme uh, peaks and valleys. Now, moving on to our first chart, it is Albemarle uh, Corporation. Uh, they are a big uh, and leading uh, industrial chemical uh, manufacturer. And as we left off on the last slide, talking about the rates of change and uh, the extreme values in the peaks and the valleys of the rate of change, I'd like to bring your attention to the top chart, which is the price chart. In those two circles, you'll see two upward movements. And so you'll see one where the price gradually moves up, and you'll see in the second circle to the right where the price gaps up, which is an extremely strong uh, momentum move. Looking down at the rate of change chart, you notice that the first circle on the left has a more smoothed out uh, increase whereas the circle on the right which corresponds to the gap up in price is a very very strong movement uh, upward and that's above the zero line and we'll touch on that later but what I want you to get used to is how a strong upward price movement looks on the rate of change chart. Uh, 